Hello there. Certainly glad to have you here with us today. Today we have a wonderful painting project in store on the joy of painting insects. Today we're painting a praying mantis of the order Mantidea. Now to give you some background information about that creature, it is of the order Mantidea, as I mentioned, and there are 2,300 species in that order. Now we all know what a praying mantis looks like, and it can be most characterized with those praying hands, known as the raptor claws. And that is an extension of the tibia on the femur. Another characteristic about this order is that it has an extended thorax, and it's called a prothorax. And it's got that tegmina, that extra pair of wings in the back. And if you know anything about insects, you know that those wings are very important for flight. Also, it is a greatly camouflaged creature, and it uses this camouflage to be a predator in the wild. Also, it is of a beautiful color, green, that works very well with its natural environment. As a predator, it feasts on many insects, whatever is available to it, actually. And also, it has a very maneuverable head in order to catch its predators most efficiently. So, like with anything, I like to start with the background. And before we get into painting the insect, we're going to paint a beautiful natural background. Now, predators of predators for the praying mantis include birds, lizards, frogs, and that sort. But we're going to draw, rather paint, a beautiful blue sky. Now, I am using oil paints. And I am doing a special technique where I am not allowing the canvas to dry. I'm rather building the colors on top of one another. And here we go. Just creating some gorgeous blue backdrop. And as well, we'll add in the green of the leaves as we go on. Predator, it has special mouth parts, modified mandibles, and this snout-like beak. And this is going to enable it to prey. Here we go. So I'm just painting in this triangular head. Now, the praying mantis that we're drawing is from a side view, so we're going to draw the snout facing down like this. And as I do that, I'm going to move on to painting the compound eyes. Now, these are the large eyes that you see on the praying mantis. I'm going to do that in red just to make it pop. And these are made up of what are called omatidium, and this helps with peripheral views in order to catch prey. So I'm just going to put in the white like that to make those omatidium pronounced, and as well as draw a slight other one on the other side. As well as these compound eyes, praying mantis also have three simple eyes. So I'm going to draw those in. Just to add a little bit of definition here. And 
And like many insects, they have two antennas. before with the praying mantis it has this modified abdomen and thorax so as I said any insect is broken up into three segments and that is the head the thorax and the abdomen so with the praying mantis the thorax is actually composed of the meta mesa and prothorax so let's paint these in and then we'll paint the wings in after we do that. So right about over here is where this tegmina would be. So we'll make that slightly defined. Just draw a little space here where the two legs will come out. Now, as I mentioned before, the legs are modified. To be upright in this praying position and to hold prey. Now, the way they're painted, we begin with the coxa, as it's called. That's this larger upper part of the leg. Then we have this trochanter right here before the extension of the femur. Feel free to be creative with the colors because as we know, praying mantis are adapted to all different sort of environments and while they are green, they do have browns, a little bit of darker shades in them as well. So this is the femur and it extends upright like that. And now we have the tibia and the tarsus. Extend like this, downright like that. And that creates that sort of praying position. And on these are these little spikes. Again, that grips. Now, just to make it a little more balanced, we'll draw. As I mentioned, the praying mantis are known to be standing upright, so we'll draw out this other leg so it looks as if it's standing. And now we can finally move on to the abdomen. So we completed the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. In the abdomen, processes such as excretion and reproduction occur. And this is very vital to the praying mantis. Of course, the central nervous system runs through here as well as the prothorax and thorax. So this is what a typical abdomen would look like. And right on top would be this hind pair of wings. And this is important for flight. And although praying mantis are diurnal creatures, which means they you know, live and pray during the day, they do fly nocturnally. And this is important for attracting um, mates 
They actually smell out and seek out pheromones during the night. So this is what a typical abdomen would look like. legs a little bit further. A unique feature of the praying mantis is in its camouflage, sometimes it will sway in the same motion as the leaf that it is on. work on the leaf that he will actually be sitting atop. as close around him as you can. Again, those praying mantis are going to use camouflage to their advantage in order to not be preyed on by lizards, frogs, birds, and even other insects. Now we can go ahead and complete the rest of the sky. Did they tie in that blue and those cool colors?
end, when you think you're finished, don't forget to sign it. That's always the most important part. Let me go ahead and do that in red right now. So just as a recap, today with me, you drew the praying mantis of the order Mantidea. It is one of the most predaceous insects and it is almost the most recognizable for its raptor claws. It is simply a majestic insect that camouflages with its environment beautifully, it has these beautiful compound eyes for extreme hunting abilities and these omatidium that just so beautifully enable it to see peripherals as well as the simple eyes the two antenna it has this beak like snout an extended thorax and a large abdomen well, thank you for joining me today. God bless, and I will see you, friends.